Little Mermaid Aria and the Great Fire. Once upon a time, the beautiful mermaid Aria was living in a great castle by the sea. Thanks to her human legs, she was able to run freely on the beach. Picking fruits from the trees and feeding her animal friends with great pleasure. You little squirrels are so cute! <laughs> One day, when Aria was returning from the beach to the castle, she stopped at the pier to look at the sea. In the distance, she saw big waves and some smoke over the sea. She thought that something must be wrong. Those waves are huge! Bad things must be happening underwater. She leaped off the pier in a panic and started to swim to the bottom. Her fishtail appeared as soon as she went into the water. As she swam, she noticed that the temperature in the water was changing. Oh, that's not right. The water is supposed to get colder the deeper I go. Why is it getting warmer? The water became so warm that the tip of Arya's tail turned red. Poseidon, the deep sea king, also noticed that the ocean was getting hot. He immediately stuck the tip of his trident in the sand to check the temperature of the ocean floor. He thought that if the tip of the wand turns red, he must intervene immediately. It was just as he feared. The tip his trident turned red of how hot the sand was. Hmm. If this temperature rises any further, it will be a disaster for all sea creatures. Poseidon quickly left the deep sea kingdom and started swimming toward the hottest place in the water. The Little Mermaid Aria saw that the schools of fish she encountered on the way were badly affected by the temperature of the water. Just then, little dolphin Dolphy came to Aria, and his tail was red from the heat. Aria, I was swimming to find you. What's going on? Why is the water so hot? Look at my tail! Yes, our tails are turning red, Dolphy. We cannot stand this heat. Look, even the muscles are turning red. Dolphy, take the other fish to the surface of the water, and I'll go find the source of this heat. While the little dolphin, Dolphy, was swimming to the surface of the water with other fish, Arya made a strong, magical water bubble to protect her from the hotter water. With her bubble, she was able to swim further and further towards the source of the hot water. The sea witch Vega, the evil octopus of the ocean, was not affected by the heat in the water. In fact, she was in a very good mood. <laughs> what do you think about the heat of my cave, snake? This weather is splendid for a vacation, your majesties. It's toasty. Then let's increase the temperature outside a little more and have some fun. <laughs> the sea witch Vega had set such a magical fire below her cave that the ocean floor was as hot as fire. Let's increase this fire a little more so all the fishes will run away and the deep sea kingdom will be left to me. <laughs> Just as Vega was about to raise the fire with her powerful magic, her brother Poseidon, the king, arrived next to her. How could you do this to us? 
Because of the heat, thousands of fish had to leave their homes and flee to the water's surface. You could destroy all our world. Poseidon! Stay away! Stay away! Or I will make this fire even bigger and hotter! Poseidon did not listen to Vega, and even though it was very hot, he used his magic trident and tried to put out the fire. But that didn't work. You can never put out this fire, Poseidon. Stand back now. When Poseidon did not back down, Vega started firing fireballs at him. He could not protect himself. His tail turned red because of the heat. When his power diminished, he felt weak and tried to retreat towards the water's surface. But Vega the Sea Witch saw her opportunity to defeat the king and threw a net on him. <laughs> Just then, Mermaid Arya found Vega's secret magical fire. Vega? I should have understood that you were the one who set fire under the water and scared the fish. Stay away, Arya, or else I'll cast a spell on you, like I did to your father. Arya, be careful. The heat is increasing. Vega shook her octopus arms to make the magical fire burn even hotter and bigger. But the Little Mermaid wasn't afraid of Vega at all knowing she was safe inside the protective bubble. Don't worry, Father. I will put an end to this fire and free you. Arya gathered all her strength and approached the fire with the bubble that she was in. But then, Vega started shooting out flames at the Little Mermaid with her octopus arms. Arya's protective bubble stopped the flames and protected her. I could put this big fire out with an ice cube. Mermaid Arya immediately focused on her strength and made a tiny ice cube in her hands. She blew the ice cube out of the bubble and it grew and grew until it was huge. Vega, the sea witch, watching what happened, couldn't hide her astonishment when she saw the size of the ice. Oh no, no, no! The ice cube fell onto the fire in such a way that the flame at the bottom of the sea was extinguished. Then Mermaid Arya rescued her father Poseidon, who was trapped in the net. Poseidon waved his mighty wand towards Vega and banished her into very, very deep, far, far away waters. No! You managed to put out the fire, Arya. On behalf of the entire Sea Kingdom, I thank you, my beautiful daughter. When the temperature of the water returned to normal, all fish, mussels, and turtles happily returned to their home in the deeps. All right, this is great. We're safe again. Seawater was always icy, but the fish that lived in it never lost the warmth in their hearts. Hello, my friends. I'm so glad you're all safe. 